For more on this tonight, we turn to our political panel. Radio and podcast host Ben Kissel is with us, and also Ted Harvey from the Committee to Defend the President. Gentlemen, nice to have you with us tonight. And there is a, a lot to unpack here. I don't know what American would go along with the FBI inside a political campaign unless they had some real suspicions about laws being broken. Ted, what happened here? Well, I, I agree with you. The American people should be outraged that the Obama administration tried to use the FBI to spy on a political opponent. This is what the Soviet Union did. This is what China does. This is what communist countries all over the world do. This, this should not be happening here in the United States. We impeached a president simply because some bumbling fools broke into the DNC and stole some stuff. Right here, we have the FBI actually putting people into the campaign and spying on their opponents and uh, wiretapping the, the Trump Tower, despite what all the media and yeah. all of the Democrats howled about over a year ago. Ben, there's a lot of Republicans that think the president is late to the party on this, that this is long overdue. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Well, uh, number one, I'm wondering if Donald Trump regrets maligning Rod Rosenstein over the past year, it being that he desperately needs him to facilitate uh, this investigation if he does put in place a special counsel to look into what happened during the campaign. It's interesting uh, that this man, Halper, met with Carter Page and George uh, Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos, by the way, let's not forget, Donald Trump declared him to be a nothing, a, a small uh, coffee grabber. He was the one who was getting them uh, coffee for their meetings. Uh, now, of course, evidently, he was a key component to their campaign. He met with them in July, the same month that Donald Trump asked the Russians to find Hillary Clinton's emails. Donald Trump didn't do him any, uh, himself any favors when he said yeah. that. And uh, that's possible, uh, he, possibly he one of the reasons why they that. chose to send somebody in to look into his campaign. Well, gentlemen, let me ask both Please. of you this. How could, Robert Mueller, how could Robert Mueller and James Comey not be questioned by Jeff Sessions? How, how could, I mean, should Sessions... Uh, reinvigorate the process and jump back in the middle of this. This is a this is almost an invitation for sessions to get involved, isn't it, Ted? Well, well, I believe there needs to be another special counsel put together to investigate the FBI and what they did. And I think Mueller should have to resign because he's a chief witness in, in this, as is Comey. We have, we have as is Rosenstein. I, I think we have some of the chief witnesses of this charade this this abuse of power yeah. actually How could they um, not investigating know? themselves exactly how, how, could, the how could Obama not the FBI know? and the current director of the FBI not know I mean that, that and the that's, president I, and the I president find that hard to believe States. Well, that's the way the system is set up, and uh, if Jeff Sessions does want to, to <laughs> be more set up proactive that way, as the ben, attorney general, on. he has all the rights to be. I mean, let's not forget, Donald Trump also has the right to call for a special counsel or request one. The DOJ is under the executive branch, uh, and yeah. we'll see where it goes from here. I just think it's a little bit hypocritical for Donald Trump uh, to malign someone like Rod Rosenstein, who is now, for the past year, who is now one of the uh, key allies when it comes to uh, being someone who is willing to investigate what happened during the campaign. Yeah. He's not willing to. Look, he has I think started the investigation. He, he has no, said no, that he, he is willing you, to you look, at, you, you look at Mark Penn yesterday. Mark Penn, who was a, a Bill Clinton campaign director, who, who did the polling for Hillary Clinton in 2008, came out yesterday and said, this is outrageous and Mueller should step aside. Th this is not just a partisan mm. thing. This is well, a bipartisan thing saying the American democracy is at risk because we have the top levels of the, of the intelligence community in, in, infiltrating an opposition political campaign of, of a major party. And based on president. a dossier that has, based, based on a dossier that's paid with political money and a dossier that is not proven. And, and, and sure. that's why we got to get to the bottom of this, I think. Well, what do you, Ben, let me ask you, what do you make of James Clapper's response today, trying to make the pivot, saying, well, actually it was Russia. You know, we're, we're really investigating Russia and that's you know, how we ended up in the Trump campaign. I mean, that's basically what he said. Again, Donald Trump did not do himself any favors publicly uh, asking the Russians to release and find more of Hillary Clinton's he was emails. Joking about James it, Clapper you know has it, his own uh, agenda and his own, uh, you know, he, he's trying to, uh, you know, protect his own skin. And obviously As he's going you. to be uh, someone who is defending himself. But when it comes to Mueller, this idea that if Mueller somehow resigns, which is not going to happen, the investigation into Russian collusion is over. It's simply not. The investigation would continue on uh, regardless if Mueller stays should. in the position or not. As it should be. You Here's the problem with Clapper. Here, here, gentlemen, 
Gentlemen, here's the problem with James Clapper. He's raised his hand in front of Congress before and lied. So how all of a sudden is he going to tell the truth and say, well, I really didn't know anything about uh, the, the FBI being involved in the Trump campaign. There's no credibility across the board. I think the president is late to the game on this, and I think he made the right call today. Ben Kissel and Ted Harvey. Gentlemen, great to have you with us tonight. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening.